Like a haymaker sucker punch out of nowhere, my urologist told me that I'd never have an erection again. And as I sat there on his exam table, I felt a sickening wave of grief grip my stomach. And I saw his nurse look over at me with a sad look of pity in her eyes. Like she'd just seen the most pathetic man in the whole world. The shame of thinking that at the tender age of only 39 years old, I wasn't just about to lose my sex life, but lose the woman I loved, it was almost too much to bear. It felt like a kick in the fucking balls. And it's not exactly an easy story for me to share either. I mean, let's be honest. What man wants to admit that he is or ever was less than adequate in the bedroom? But the reason I'm willing to go out on a limb like this is that it was through this painful and dark experience that I accidentally discovered a groundbreaking study out of the American Urological Association that can let any man permanently restore his ability to get full, hard, lasting erections on command. I'm talking about the kind of erections that make it hard to walk, that feel like they could tear open the seams of your underwear, those throbbing, Super sensitive erections you used to get with a stiff breeze during your teens. You remember those, right? And best of all, how you can do this totally naturally, without supporting the extortionists and the pharmaceutical industry that charge you more to give you boners than you paid for your first house, without any weird pumps or gadgets, and without having to take cheap male enhancement pills made in unregulated factories in China by amateurs who don't care about your safety. Hi, my name is Olivier. I'm a 41-year-old French-Canadian that lives in Montreal. And if you're one of the over 30 million men in North America alone that suffers from weak erections, reduced sensitivity, or even outright impotence, even if you've only experienced any of these things one time, You're at risk to develop a condition commonly known as crippled cock syndrome that could permanently cost you any hope for a satisfying sex life. In fact, all the myths that you've heard about ED being a blood flow problem or caused by a lack of nitric oxide or even something that you can just treat with medication are about to be destroyed. I'm about to tell you the real reason you continue to suffer from ED, backed by a groundbreaking study published by the American Urological Association, and give you a simple solution to permanently reverse the cause in just a few hours, like I've done for myself in over 2,137 guys in nine different countries. Just look at what 51-year-old Antonio from Rio de Janeiro had to say. About six months ago, my sex drive was low, my erections were weak, and man, I just couldn't perform. It was humiliating. I went to two doctors, but they just gave me pills, and I couldn't stand the side effects. A Google search revealed your methods, and I'm so glad I found you. I don't just have my erections back. I've got more energy now than I had in my 30s. God bless you, my friend. Or Kirby Firestone in Seattle, who wrote, All I can say is you're a brave guy for sharing your story. My erection trouble started at 53 years old and I never even sought help until I was 57. The ability to get and stay erect has really improved my marriage. My wife barely even argues with me anymore. How's that for unexpected side effects? Thanks for everything. Now, I do need to warn you that while it's possible to fully and permanently restore your erections to full working health in record time without any drugs, pumps, or gimmicks. Right now, the true cause of your ED is ravaging your manhood, destroying your sensitivity, and potentially ruining your chances at ever having a satisfying sex life. And according to experts like Dr. Mark Garnick from Harvard Medical School, early intervention to end shriveling erections is crucial as the flexible tissues that allow you to become erect are being destroyed by the true root cause of ED. And the worst part is, this can continue even if you're taking commonly prescribed ED medication. And if you wait too long, this condition can become permanent. So if you think you've got something better to do than save your sex life, your relationships, and your self-respect, I think you might need to hand in your man card. So, you might be wondering how I went from sitting in my urologist's office hearing the heartbreaking news that I was losing my manhood to suddenly discovering an ED breakthrough that can give any man the fullest directions that he's had since his teens. Well, it all started on a normal Thursday night. 
My girlfriend Sophie had texted me earlier in the day at work. Hey, I've got a little surprise for you. See you tonight. After work, I set up a few candles, poured a couple glasses of wine, and put on some jazz music just as the door rang. She was standing in the doorway wearing a beige overcoat and lipstick red stilettos. I offered to take her coat, but she said, not yet, as she grabbed one of the glasses of wine and sat on the sofa. After we shared a few glasses of wine, she gazed at me with that look in her eyes. A combination of wine buzz and lust that let me know she had some very naughty thoughts brewing in her brain. We started making out passionately and she pulled back, stood up, and took off her overcoat to reveal what was underneath. A new set of steamy lingerie she'd bought to spice things up. I looked her over hungrily. Her curves and soft creamy skin glowed in the matching black bustier and black panties that pressed against her body. I pulled her in and started kissing her forcefully, pulling off her lingerie as the action started heating up. And as I was doing this, I started to notice something was different. I was totally soft. I wanted her badly. Her naked body pressed against mine. Her sweet, feminine scent filled my nostrils, and I felt the same intense desire for her I had always felt. But I wasn't responding. My member felt paralyzed. I kept waiting for something to happen, but I never got hard. She started to notice that something was wrong and gave me a what-the-hell-is-going-on-here look. I tried to relax and keep making out with her and stall for time. She started to fondle me to give me a little boost, but it still didn't do the trick. I felt a rush of anxiety overcome me. I scrambled for what to do. I'd never had a problem like this before. We both kept trying for a while, but the more we tried, the worse it got. My member just laid there, completely lazy, soft, and limp. A warm tide of embarrassment overcame me. Sophie tried to reassure me that it was okay, but on some level I knew it wasn't. I mean, I did notice a little drop in my drive the past few months, but I didn't smoke. I didn't drink to excess. I got plenty of exercise. I just assumed it was stress. I've been working a lot of hours at work finishing up a big project that was going to mean millions of dollars in new revenue for the company I worked for. I tried to brush it off as just a one-time thing. The kind of thing that happens to all guys. But you know as well as I do that ED can really start to mess with your confidence. I started having a tough time even enjoying a night out in the town with my girl. That nagging little voice in the back of my mind pestering me with thoughts of what if it happens again. It really got in my head. I started losing interest in sex and my erections were less and less predictable as a result. It got to a point where I went weeks without having an erection. I just didn't want to admit that I had a problem. But then came the moment that brought everything to a head. Sophie's girlfriend had come in from out of town and I got a text from her late in the evening. Hey, can you come and get me at the bar? Yvette and I need a ride. After I'd picked them up, I realized that they were both pretty buzzed. I looked up to Sophie and asked her if she wanted to stay at my place after we dropped off Yvette. What are you asking, Olivier, she said with a gleam in her eyes. I just smiled back at her knowingly. Just that it's closer than driving back to your apartment, I said with a tone of mischief. Just then, Yvette rang in with a drunken, slurred voice and said, If you're inviting her over for sex, you'd better get it up this time, because she's starting to feel neglected. I immediately felt a hot wave of shame roll up my face like I'd just opened up a 400-degree wood-fired stove. Sophie tried to defend me, yelling out, Shut up and mind your own business, but the damage was done. After that, I knew two things. Sophie was talking to other women about my problem, and I could no longer pretend that my on-and-off erections were not a problem anymore. I knew that if I didn't do something, I would lose the woman that I loved. And that night, I talked with Sophie about it directly. At first, she held back, not wanting to hurt my feelings. But when I confronted her, she finally came clean and told me how she really felt. What she told me made me sick to my stomach with shame and guilt, but I had to swallow it. I knew I had lied to myself long enough. I almost felt like vomiting when she said, Olivier, I always feel guilty, but when some of the guys at my office flirt with me, I can't help but feel attracted to them. I I just miss regular sex. I care about you, Olivier, but I have a sex drive too, and when you can't perform, it does make me feel, well, neglected. That was the last straw. I knew I needed to do something or risk losing her. 
So I booked an appointment with the urologist to get to the bottom of it once and for all. After he asked me all the normal questions and did a few quick tests, he looked a little puzzled. I didn't smoke, drink to excess, or have diabetes or prediabetes. I exercised frequently, I ate healthy, and while I had a little extra stress, it wasn't anything a 38-year-old man shouldn't be able to handle. He just looked over the chart, looked back at me, and said, Well, you're perfectly healthy. I think we'll just start you on Viagra. He wrote me a prescription and sent me on my way. I remember how embarrassing it was to fill the prescription, but that quickly went away when I realized they were charging me $8 a pill for the meds. But I was desperate, like I said, and eager to get my relationship back on track, so I paid for the pills. I even called in a favor with an influential friend to set up a reservation at Maison Boulud, a very exclusive French eatery in the Ritz-Carlton of downtown Montreal where I live. I wanted it to be a perfect romantic evening with my lady. And after dinner, we retreated to a suite I had booked at the hotel for champagne, strawberries, and a little naughty fun. In the middle of dinner, I went to the bathroom to pop the pill so that I'd be ready when the time came. After the meal, we retreated to the suite and had a glass of champagne. And after making out a little bit, Houston, we have liftoff. After a few sexless months, it was amazing. After the fireworks display in our suite, I noticed that I was still hard. Great, I thought to myself. I'll give her a little extra love and, you know, just to make up for lost time. As I was gearing up for round two, I suddenly felt really cold. I got a feeling in my stomach like I was going to be sick and started breathing really heavy. My whole field of vision blurred into a fuzzy mess of patterns and shapes that I couldn't quite make out. Sophie reached up to caress my face and then asked, Is everything okay? But just then, I blacked out. I woke up to the paramedics wheeling me into an ambulance. The doctor asked me a bunch of questions, and I had to admit that I had taken the ED drugs. He told me, It almost looks like an allergic response. Whatever it is, to be safe, I think you have to stop taking the meds. I asked if there was something else I could do, or if I could try any of the other drugs on the market. No, he said. They all work the same way, and this sort of reaction can be dangerous. It's just too risky at this point. My heart dropped. I felt awful. Not only did I ruin our romantic evening, but now I couldn't even take the meds anymore. I was really worried that my ED problems would come back, and sure enough, I went right back to the wet noodle erections I had before. Only even worse now. Even when I did get a brief erection, my fella looked really distorted, like it was shorter and more curved than before. Almost like Andre the Giant had put my penis in a chokehold that stunted its growth. I feel humiliated just talking about it, but I promised to tell all. After a while, I just couldn't take it anymore. I went back to the urologist who had originally prescribed me the drugs, and he did a quick checkup, took some x-rays, not an easy process, let me tell you, just to try to get to the bottom of what was going on. I waited anxiously on the exam table for him to deliver the news. Olivier, I'm sorry to inform you of this, but it looks like the smooth muscles in your corpora cavernosa, the flexible tissues in your penis that let you have an erection are beginning to harden. I'm afraid you're losing your ability to have natural erections. I slumped over, a sickening feeling of disbelief twisting my stomach and chest, trying to take in what I'd just heard. Normally, ED medications can help reduce this problem, but given your previous reaction, I'm afraid there's very little I can do for you. I felt so emasculated, I was pondering whether or not I even wanted to go on. I knew there were men older than me, fatter than me, who ate greasy cheeseburgers and smoked cigars every day that could get and maintain erections. I felt cheated. I felt empty and hollow. My confidence was in the toilet. My will to live dwindled by the day, and I kid you not, I seriously considered whether my life was even worth it. Man, I really don't want any man to ever have to go through that. It was just so painful. But then one day, while I was lying in bed, burning through my vacation days because I didn't want to face the world, I got a text from Sophie. Olivier, check this out, it said with the link attached. It was a report by the American Urological Association, and it followed up on three different studies published in leading European journals about the cause of erectile dysfunction. 
First, the studies claimed that there was mounting evidence that ED was not just a blood flow problem after all, and that it was actually the hardening tissues inside the corpora cavernosa, the tissues that respond to arousal, that are to blame. Secondly, it showed that this hardening tissue can become scarred and permanently lose the ability to become erect, even if common ED drugs were administered. And third, it concluded that the true cause of ED was an epidemic that a growing number of medical researchers call the silent killer. In fact, Time Magazine ran an article about this just a few years ago. See, the smooth muscles of your corpora cavernosa normally expand as blood enters, allowing you to get an erection. But inflammation causes your body to pump out a protein called TGF-beta, which cools the inflammation and stops the swelling. But while this penis-killing protein temporarily stops the swelling, it starts to transform the flexible tissues in your corpora from something that acts like rubber to something that's more like cement. Basically, from the standpoint of a responsive penis, the cells are dead. And since this protein can also affect nerve endings, it starts to affect sensitivity and reduce pleasure that you feel during sex. So not only do your erections get weaker, they also get less pleasurable. And if that wasn't enough, if this continues to go on, your penis can even shrink. And while ED drugs like Viagra and Cialis can give some men temporary relief from weak erections, they don't stop the ravages of TGF-beta from crippling your cock. Which is why even if you want to pay Big Pharma the cost of leasing a nice car just to get temporary relief, their drugs still don't address the change in your smooth muscle tissue and the inflammation that's causing it, all at the same time. And this is why the American Urological Association recently published findings that show that only about half of the men prescribed ED medications continue using them at all. So, I had my first ray of hope. Scientific proof that I could naturally and permanently restore my erections. All I had to do was find a way to cool the inflammation and block my body from putting out too much of the penis-killing protein. So the only way to permanently stop erectile dysfunction is to nab it at the root. First, you need to cool the chronic inflammation that hardens your arteries, reducing blood flow to your member, but even more importantly, you need to block your body from putting out too much TGF-beta, the penis-killing protein that cripples your smooth muscle cells. Everything else, from medication and pumps to herbal pills and even low-T therapy, are at best band-aids that only give you temporary relief. I spent hours poring over more research. I read all the medical journals I could get my hands on. I consulted with medical doctors, organic chemists, and registered dietitians, and finally... I discovered something interesting. A group of six compounds that not only were shown to cool the chronic vein inflammation, but also block the penis-killing protein that's turning your penis into a brittle block of cement. So I searched for a way to get a hold of these six erection amplifiers so I could put them to work in my body. I ordered up some of the natural erection amplifying compounds, fully expecting my manhood to take off like a heat-seeking missile, but instead... I got the same weak, stunted erections of a man with a crippled cock. Now I was really frustrated. What the hell am I doing wrong, I thought to myself. But then I remembered a conversation I'd had with a registered dietitian I'd consulted with in my search. She specialized in helping people who suffered with arthritis to deal with their symptoms through the use of nutrition-based remedies. And she happened to mention that crucial anti-inflammatory compounds couldn't be taken on their own. They need a delivery vehicle, a series of protective compounds that keep them from being destroyed by the gut. Otherwise, they can't get into the bloodstream where they can have their effect. So, I tried something different. I started to find natural sources of the six erection amplifying compounds and liquefy them into blended beverages. Liquefying these nutrients was the fastest, most efficient way to deliver them into my bloodstream and end my weak erections and low sensitivity. I wasted no time. I decided to try a quick little concoction that I mixed up in my kitchen in just a few seconds with an inexpensive blender I bought at Walmart. It was a simple elixir I made using a few natural ingredients, a few strange foods that are easy to find, and the power of my pointer finger. And within just a few hours, I had a nice pep in my step and a promising tingle in my southern hemisphere. I felt so good 
I invited Sophie to meet me for a drink at a jazz club we both enjoy. So when we get there, she's looking drop-dead gorgeous in this tight little black dress, and we sit down in the back of the club on some cozy-looking sofas. Right around the second set, I happened to catch a glimpse of her cleavage. Suddenly, a familiar rush overcame me. A warm feeling of excitement rushing into my manhood and kaboom. Let me tell you, if Viagra is a powder keg of erection-amplifying power, what I experienced was like Hiroshima. I looked Sophie in the eyes with a knowing grin. Her eyes gravitate toward my lap, got wide as dinner plates, and had that sparkle she always got when she got excited or happy. I didn't say a word, I just grabbed her hand and rushed both of us back to my place as fast as I could. As soon as the door swung open, we picked up right where we left off and so did my erection. We had the most intense, passionate sex of our lives. I felt her wiggle and moan beneath me. I felt her dig her fingernails into my back. I felt her pulse with ecstasy as wave after wave of powerful orgasms overcame her. I was so sensitive and responsive that I recovered almost immediately. So we kept going. And finally, late in the night as the moon peeked in through my bedroom window, we collapsed into a deep sleep. Well, over time, I developed a whole host of these secret cocktails. Just to offer some variety and combine different levels and sources of the six erection amplifying nutrients, they were my secret weapon to give me those almost painful, skin-splitting erections I remember having in my teens. My relationship had never been better. I kept catching my girl looking at me with those puppy dog eyes. She was finding little ways to do favors for me, making lots of extra effort to look her best and make me happy. I'd never experienced this before from her, or for many women for that matter. Then something kind of odd happened that led me to the reason I'm talking with you today. One day, while I was at home just enjoying a beer with my friends, I got a text from Sophie. Olivier, is there any way you could send me your juicing elixirs? It said. Um, I guess I could. Why? I asked. It turns out Yvette... The drunk girl who'd called me out on my erection issues was having a problem with her new boyfriend. A part of me wanted to be stingy. I was still fuming mad at her for calling me out like that. But then I realized two things. Number one, she actually ended up doing me a favor, even though it was a little painful at the time. And number two, I didn't want any guy to ever go through what I had. So I decided to send off just two of the blended beverages I'd developed. Then I just went back to getting buzzed with my friends. In fact, I actually forgot all about it. But two days later, I got a call from Sophie. Hey babe, I just want you to talk with Antoine for a second. He's Yvette's new guy and he wanted to talk with you. Before I even knew what was happening, this deep voice gets on the line and starts yammering away at a hundred words a second. You saved me, my friend. I don't know you, but I can't thank you enough. It turns out Antoine had gone through a pretty similar cycle to me. ED drugs stopped working and his dick went into rapid decline. A classic case of crippled cock syndrome. Urologists were shrugging their shoulders at him just like me and he was at the end of his rope. Now later on that night, Sophie and I are in bed after one of our marathon lovemaking sessions and she tells me, So Antoine actually gave me $100 for your juicing formulas. I tried to refuse the money, but he insisted, so instead of arguing with him, I just took it. And, she followed, he has some friends that want the formulas too. And this was from just two of the recipes. They were just the tip of the iceberg. See, it turns out that you have to vary the dosages and ingredients to help improve their effectiveness and create synergistic effects. That's what happens when you start combining things in a way that makes the effects more powerful together than they are separately. Sort of like a 1 plus 1 equals 4 kind of thing. They not only turn the tissues of your corpora cavernosa back into the healthy, spongy, and highly responsive tissue you had in your teens, they also help you undo the age-related damage to your nerves. So you can get back those grade 1 titanium alloy erections that blister with sensitivity and pleasure like you remember having in your younger years. So... I started teaching all of this to guys anywhere from five to a dozen at a time, teaching them to juice for their manhood, combining the six little-known erection amplifiers into potent potables to pack more power in their erections and permanently reverse all signs of erectile dysfunction. 
They all paid me good money just to hang out in my living room, and the life-changing results they got were nothing short of phenomenal. Check out what Charles, one of my first students, had to say. Olivier, thank you so much. I started to realize over a year ago that my ED meds weren't working as well anymore. I didn't know what to do, and my own urologist just told me, well, sometimes the meds stop working. But he never suggested a solution. You're the first one to show me the true cause of ED and how to end it with your juicing solution. You saved my sex life. Well, that's just one of the over 2,000 men who've used this solution, but of course I'm getting ahead of myself because it was about this time that I realized there was no way on God's green earth I could personally help every guy with ED. See, here's the thing. When I sat down with most men, they still thought their ED was a circulation issue. Their doctors still thought it was circulation. They kept reading online and getting told that ED was about nitric oxide or PED5, or they were just told to exercise more, smoke less, eat more ginger, get some cinnamon, or take this or that magical amino acid. But none of them heard anything about how TGF-beta, the penis-killing protein, was causing the spongy tissue in their penis to die, making sure that no amount of blood flow would help them. The guys I taught this weird little juicing method to all got great results, and some of them even brought back marriages from the brink of divorce. So I knew I had something. Well, it wasn't long before I just couldn't keep up anymore. Too many guys were coming to me, and I just couldn't help them all, so I boiled down what I knew, all my research, plus what I'd learned shelling out thousands to high-priced medical doctors and health experts, and put it into a simple guide that I printed out and just gave away to the guys who hired me. Somewhere along the way, this nifty little guide got the name Juicing for Your Manhood, 17 Natural ED Eradicating Juice Recipes. It's the world's first and only all-natural system to not only kill inflammation and restore blood flow, but actually block TGF-beta, the penis-killing protein, reversing all traces of weak erections, inability to stay hard, low sensitivity, or even outright impotence. It's the only way to end the true source of your ED, so you can get back those almost painful erections that rock your lady's world like a Jimmy Page solo. This stuff isn't available anywhere else. My doctor was convinced I'd never have another erection, short of surgery, ever again. So I had to look long and hard to find a way to reverse the crippled cock syndrome and get my erections back. Most doctors aren't even aware a solution like this exists. And it's really not a surprise when you consider that Big Pharma pays for all the big medical conferences, and ultimately drugs represent a huge chunk of all the revenue in healthcare. So there's not much of an incentive for them to look. And even after I figured out a solution that can help any guy overcome weak, unpredictable erections that run out of steam before you can really get going, eliminate outright impotence, improve their mood and energy levels so they can just plain enjoy life more, and help any man enjoy a satisfying sex life well into his 60s, 70s, 80s, or even beyond. I mostly kept it local because it was a little embarrassing to be known as a boner healer. But one day I got a letter from a guy I'll call Liam who didn't want his real name to be known. Now, it's a little long, but I wanted to share it. Olivier, I just wanted to tell you that the little seminar you held in your home to end ED has literally saved my life. I was hopeless, and my fiancé had left me over my ED. My doctor told me that medication wouldn't help me anymore, and surgery was my only option. I was seriously contemplating suicide. I didn't want surgery. I didn't want to live without my manhood. I was just totally lost. A friend told me about you, and... I didn't think it would work, but I was desperate. I almost didn't even go that Saturday because I was embarrassed. But I just didn't want to end my life without trying absolutely everything. And man, I am so glad I did. I could just tell right away that you were genuine, and when you told us your story, I knew you understood me. Thank you for your bravery. You have saved my life. I truly mean that from the bottom of my heart. Well, it was after this that I started to realize that this wasn't just a side project. It was a mission. I realized I was being selfish by not letting the whole world in on this. I thought about all the guys that weren't just living without the passionate, steamy hot sex they should be having, but also risking their relationships and losing the respect of their women, all because they didn't have this simple solution. 
and I also saw how women were suffering as well, since men who can't get erect make them feel neglected and undesirable. So I decided that I would build a website and offer this solution to the world. And when I decided to do that, I knew that the only way to go was to be 100% transparent. That meant no holding back, no telling half the truth, and no skimping on any part of my story. I wanted every guy to know that no matter how bad things are right now, there's hope. And juicing for your manhood is that hope. This will work for you even if you've, you've stopped responding to ED medication. You've started to feel less sensitivity than before, or you haven't had the slightest hint of an erection in years. And yes, even if you can get hard, but just want to stay hard longer or recover faster to spice up your sex life, juicing for your manhood is your solution for that as well. So that leads us to now, to you discovering this for yourself, to you resurrecting your sex life, Getting back your natural masculine confidence and eliminating all traces of ED naturally and permanently. And I just have to ask, what is your manhood truly worth to you? Now, I have a good amount of competition out there that makes it tougher than I thought to get the word out about my solution. First, there's the big pharma companies, who in the last 24 hours alone spent over $5,863,000. $4,071 every single minute just on advertising. They completely drown out my voice and make it impossible for a small company like mine to get the word out. So I've tried to get rankings in the major search engines too, places like Google, MSN, Yahoo, to spread the word, but that's also very expensive and time-consuming. I'm still competing with the big drug companies and all the ED clinics around the U.S. and Canada that are popping up to sell men Band-Aid solutions like pills for 15 to 25 bucks a pop. Now, I'd have to say that being charged $15 just to enjoy the God-given gift of sexuality is a little bit steep. I mean, I really don't mind them making a profit. We all have to eat, and I know that there's a lot of research money that goes into this stuff, but come on, man. Having to pay a car loan's worth of money every single month just to get a stiffy, that's just too much. So, look, I'm not going to charge you several hundred dollars a month. I'm not even going to make you pay the $100 that I charge my personal clients. If you'll do me a solid and send me a testimonial after you get your manhood back, and promise to tell a friend or maybe get your wife or girlfriend to do it for you so that I can get the word out about this and compete. You can download this solution instantly for a one-time only risk-free investment of just $39.99. So look, you already know how much time and energy I have put into this solution for every man who's suffering from even the most severe forms of ED. You know that it's based on cutting-edge medical research and that it's been tested on guys just like you to get their manhood firing on all cylinders once again and forever. But I know that there's a lot of hardcore skeptics out there, and I really don't blame you at all. Not one bit, in fact. I know I bought a lot of pie-in-the-sky promises before I finally figured out how to eradicate my erectile dysfunction once and for all. I know that a lot of gurus and self-proclaimed experts out there have been promising you holistic, woo-woo solutions and generic live-healthier advice that just ends up taking your money and wasting your time. And I have to be honest, when I first thought about using liquefied nutrition to get these sex-life-saving erection amplifier compounds into my body, I thought it seemed a little crazy. But then I tried it. And I was hooked, as you'll soon be. But... I don't want you to feel like you're out anything if I don't deliver the goods. So when you click the button below this page right now and fill in your payment details on the 256-bit tighter than Fort Knox server on the next page, I'm going to offer you a totally insane risk-free guarantee of your satisfaction. Just try this solution out for 60 days. If you don't get harder erections than you remember having in your teens, if your wife or girlfriend doesn't look at you with that puppy dog look of total devotion, if you don't feel more confident around your friends and start to find more swagger in your step and more manly growl in your voice, just send me a one-line email asking for a refund and I'll give it to you. No awkward situations or endless questions, and I promise I'm not going to send you a jar of my tears in the mail or anything, and we'll still be friends. Because if I don't really help you, I really don't want your money. And given my cost to get the word out about this solution, 
after all the hard work I've done and all the suffering that I've gone through, after laying myself bare and putting my story out there, it really is my risk at the end of the day and not yours, wouldn't you agree? So there's really no reason not to at least check it out, is there? But hold on. Before you click the button, there's a little bit more that I've decided to include in this program that I forgot to tell you about earlier. First, I just want to make sure that you understand that the core of this system is way more than just a boring juice recipe book. In fact, it's a complete course to guide you through an understanding of the six erection amplifier compounds that will end inflammation and block the penis-killing TGF-beta protein. But beyond the basic guide, I also included some companion guides to help men with diabetes or prediabetes who may not want all the sugar that's in some of the original recipes. So I went ahead and developed seven additional ones. Every bit is potent, just for those guys. And then I went ahead and included a special Marathon Man workout guide, filled with enjoyable workouts you'll do just 15 minutes a day, three days a week. They'll help you burn off some extra body fat and build a little muscle, which will give you more energy for those marathon sessions you'll be enjoying once you get your dick back. And I've also gone ahead and included a special insider's guide that I call Get your shaft in shape. This potent workout regimen for your rod will help you undo your crippled cock even faster. Not only will it help you build back healthy penis tissue that's even more responsive than before, it will increase sensitivity and help you last longer. But as they say on TV, that's not all. Because at the last minute, I decided to include three must-have bonuses for guys who are deciding to take me up on this offer today. First, you'll be getting my tell-all guide called the Eternal O. Now that you have your manhood back, you'll be using it a lot more often. So I've included this guide that's going to give you and your lady the gift of longer, more pleasurable, and more satisfying sex. You'll train your nervous system to create powerful, lasting, explosive orgasms that go on and on and on. Your second fast action add-on is something that I call the Everyday Daredevil. Have you ever wondered why your grandfather didn't complain of erectile dysfunction? Ever wonder why men in hunter-gatherer cultures never get diabetes, hypertension, or even have heart attacks? Well, it turns out that experts have found that men today aren't doing enough thrill-seeking, and they spend too much time giving themselves artificial highs instead. This guide is going to teach you how to detox from the artificial pleasures that you've gotten hooked on and reconnect you to the natural ones. Without having to go bungee jumping out of helicopters or skydiving or anything crazy like that, you'll reconnect with your natural sense of adventure in a way that both you and your lady will love. And your third fast action add-on is a nifty little guide that I call Text Erotica. This is a quick and dirty way to get your lady's blood boiling by remote control. This sultry text message formula is specifically designed to light up the erogenous zones of the female mind and give you more action than a liquored up sailor in the red light district. Just follow the simple paint by numbers formula, hit send, and rev your lady's engine into overdrive. By the time she sees you in the flesh, she'll be begging for you to slide your member deep inside of her until she screams with release. No imagination is required. Guides with way less insider intel just like this have been sold all over the interwebs for 97 bucks a crack. But just by clicking the button below, you'll get access to this $291 of value on the house just because you showed some courage and self-love, got off your duff, and decided to say yes to yourself. I want you to send me stories just like these. Like I said before, there's over 2,137 men total who've already benefited from this system. Guys like Donald, who shared this story. Olivier, I was starting to doubt this stuff when for six days I used your recipes and didn't get hard. But then I saw my wife in her 90 and I got erect immediately. I ended up being late for work for the first time in over 20 years because of this juicing stuff. I'm definitely sold now. Or even Jose in San Antonio, who said, I can't use all the normal juicing formulas because of diabetes, so I had to use the vegetable ones. The only problem is the one that works best didn't taste very good to me. But it did give me fantastic erections, even better than Levitra. Overall, I'm very satisfied. Now, since you've watched my little video this far, I think it's obvious you're more than just a little bit curious. So at this point, I just wanted to remind you that you risk nothing 
to join the Juicing for Your Manhood movement. You don't risk one thin dime to get the full, hard, lasting erections on command that burst out of your skivvies like a hungry tiger ambushing a gazelle. And I want you to think about how your life would be different. Just a few short days from now, if you could get this into your life, how would you act differently? How would you feel differently? What one thing could you point to and say, that's the difference in my life right now? Now, your answer won't be the same as mine, but I bet if I looked at yours, like I've done for the other 2,137 guys who've already given themselves their manhood back, it would boil down to just one thing. Respect. The respect you feel for yourself. Knowing that you're a complete man who can ravage his woman on a moment's notice and get fully erect on command. The respect you get from others who naturally notice your dominance, your supreme masculinity, and your unshakable self-confidence. And of course, the respect you'll get from her. How she'll want to please you more, smile more for you, look good for you, and do all those little favors for you that she used to do when you first started dating. So, with that in mind, you really only have two choices. Choice number one, you could click away from this page right now. You could keep living without your manhood. You could let the TGF beta protein continue to kill off your healthy, strong, and virile penile muscle cells, turning them into a lifeless, crippled mass of lazy tissue that steals pleasure away from you and her. You could keep letting her feel sexual abandon and risk your relationship by letting her whisper behind your back or even seek her satisfaction elsewhere. But I think we both know that you're better than that, which is why the only smart choice is choice two. Just say yes to yourself right now. Give yourself the gift of full, healthy erections that inspire your lady to erect a sexual shrine to you in the back of her mind. Swell with happiness and natural masculine pride that come from knowing that you can ravage your woman with a full, erect penis whenever you want. You know you deserve to have that magic back in your life. With my ironclad 60-day guarantee, there's truly no risk. So let me leave you with one final lesson. The great epic poet Virgil is quoted as saying, Fortune favors the bold. Boldness is the ability to seize on opportunity. It isn't enough to simply understand the root of your ED. You need to take a bold and decisive action to overcome it. I've opened the door for you, I've shared in your shame and humiliation, and I've found a way out that doesn't keep you addicted to pills, potions, and injections for the rest of your life. All you have to do is make a tiny decision right now and walk through. So click the button below. Join the Juicing for Your Manhood movement. I personally promise you'll be glad you did.